in this technology, there is uh, association of uh, turbine and also a compressor to reach the desired hydrocarbon dew point control. At the beginning is the same, the configuration. We have the dry gas from the chromatography. We saturated that with water if it's the case in uh, process conditions. And in this specific case, the author suggests two points of injection of inhibitors because we have different temperatures during the process. And in the pre-cooling, as we can have the formation of condensate, we don't want to send condensate to the turbine. So there is a three-phase three vessel separator here to remove the inhibitor, to recirculate the condensate, and to get the gas phase and add more inhibition and send that to the turbine. Because what the turbine does is get the gas at a high pressure and decrease the gas pressure and with that you decrease also the temperature. And because of the decrease of temperature and pressure, we have the formation of condensate and you will control the temperature desired to, to your process based on the requirements for your gas composition, of your sales gas composition. So while in the previous process, in the Jolly Thompson valve, we use the valve to break the pressure and with that break the temperature. In the mechanical refrigeration, we use a closed loop of refrigeration to decrease the temperature and with that to form condensate. Here in the turbo expander, the expander I use it to decrease that temperature and to decrease that pressure. So after that, it goes to a three-phase vessel separator. The inhibitor is removed and recovered. We have the condensate that is recirculated to the pre-cooling. And after that, another depressurization for the removal of gas that we can have in this liquid stream that now is in a higher temperature than downstream of the expander. And we have the collection of the condensates and send that to storage. And now, as to have a uh, expander, it decreases too much the pressure of uh, a gas to have a better efficiency. Now we use a compressor to increase the, temp the pressure of your gas for sales. So the energy you produce it in the expander can be used in the compressor in order to, in, in general terms, it is a neutral use of energy. It's not neutral, but you use one energy from equipment to run the other how much you are able to decrease the pressure of the system and consequently the temperature of the system will depends on how big is your gas pressure. Because if you have lower pressure in your gas stream, it will not be effective in a turbine because you will not have enough differential pressure to have the decrease in temperature.